Hello everyone, this is Andy Morse with Kerr Consulting. And this video is to highlight one of the enhancements Sage Intac placed into its 2023 Release 3 called Match Tolerances for Purchasing Transactions. Let's begin with the setup and while we're here in the setup I want to just speak to some of the benefits that this brings. First of all, it can reduce any risk of fraud or financial loss by, by preventing the reimbursement of any authorized purchases but also identifies any frequent mistakes on receipts and vendor invoices that could be a sign of a broader business issue. Within con Configure Purchasing, under the tab General Configuration, uh, there's now a checkbox called Enable Match Tolerances. By turning that on, you'll notice then a tolerance percentage can be set for a, a quantity on a line item and also the unit price on line items so that whenever that tolerance uh, indicates that the amounts on a vendor invoice or receipt is outside that tolerance, then you can have the system automatically plate any of that uh, discrepancy uh, over into the separate account here that we set up called the Purchasing Match Tolerance Expense Account. So let's look at how that would work. I'm going to now change screens to uh, someone uh, named the County Manager, Bill, who's placed in a purchase order. Purchase order number 63 was very simple. It was for some repair and maintenance. The quantity was one and the price is 100. So it's very simple for us to now show it that if that price changes on the vendor invoice, uh, then the, the match tolerance can go to work. So let's look at the history of that purchase order and you'll see that the vendor invoice has already been converted from that purchase order and when that vendor invoice came into the system it indicates that there is an exception. We'll notice the exceptions noted on that line and the exception is as you, you can see is that the price is now 3% higher than the source document of the purchase order. Well with the variance being at 2% then by overriding this, by letting the, in this case, the, the approver override the exception, what the system will automatically do under the posting details is it'll place that discrepancy, the $3, which is the amount above the original PO, it'll place it into this separate account. So that account can now become an account that can be analyzed to look for any of these discrepancies or patterns that we're searching for. Well, that is, that is the, the essence of what the match tolerance uh, can do. Now, in the event that match tolerances uh, are not overridden, then of course, the exception can be worked on manually uh, by the accounts payable specialist. Thank you very much for your time today, and I look forward to bringing more enhancements to you in the near future. Bye-bye.